Well, hello, my Eagle friends. I'm laughing because it's late on a Thursday night, and I just want to go to bed. But it's been on my heart for a couple days that I should sit, share this story with uh, my Eagle friends, and I just, like, don't want to. Sometimes, honestly, sometimes I'm a little self-conscious. And as much as I love to put myself out there boldly, there are times in my life I'm like, I don't want to put myself out there boldly. I feel like this is a story I need to tell for my Eagle friends. A little backdrop. I used to faithfully attend gyms about once every two years for like 20 minutes and then uh, not come back for two more years. <laughs> I remember one time I was, I went to a gym for a free personal workout training because at the time I was extremely out of shape and I was like, well, let's give this a shot. See if this person at this uh, workout facility can help me. I will never forget. He takes me back to this area. And he says, uh, sit on the floor and then get up 10 times. Now, at the time, I weighed probably almost 380. It was hard to sit down and get up. It was humiliating. I don't, <laughs> I don't know that I've ever wanted to hurt another human being uh, so badly as I did in that moment. And I guess I could have just walked out the door to begin with, but I, I don't know. I just did it. So needless to say, I never went back. I've never been a gym guy, but I am now. So I go to the gym probably three, four, five times a week, and I work out harder than I ever have in my entire life. I just turned 50. I just did 55 burpees today. <laughs> Enough said. But this isn't a story about me. It's the story about other people and their impact on my life. And it's a story about, it's a story about how we find ourselves as people. So four years ago, I started off on this venture of these dreams I had to help people. And the whole time I knew just, there was like a tap on my shoulder it was like this tap on your shoulder saying, deal with your weight. Because I weighed over 350. And I was like, stop it. I don't, I don't, I don't have time to deal with my weight. Like, I don't have time for that. Building a business is stressful. I need my carbs at a moment's notice. Like, I need them. I can't, I can't be dealing with my weight. Like, the tapping on the shoulder, I just kept swiping off. Until one day when uh, Dan Miller had a Monday mentor call with a number of people. And on there was this guy named Alan Thomas, who uh, at one point weighed 304, went down to 175. Long story short, just in that moment, I was like, I got to call that guy. Something I learned in that day. The importance of leaning into someone who's right under your nose. That's what I love about the Eagle Network. There's these people in our life that are just as close as a phone call that could just possibly change our life. Anyway, long story short, so Alan really impacted my life in a powerful way. I can't, I'm forever indebted to him. But the long story short, here's what I want to get to. Let me tell you what happened this last week that I've got to tell you about. This last week, I was at a gym because the guy who runs these gyms um, has basically purchased some video content I made on how to change. And he's using my content on how to change to help his clients that they train change their bodies. I thought how ironic it is. I would have never dreamt that, you know, a number of years ago or even a year ago, I would never dreamt that, hey, someday personal trainers are going to ask me, no, they're going to pay me <laughs> to help their trainers help people find change. Just so ironic. I think probably the biggest takeaway from this story that forever changed my life was that when a human being is willing to face their greatest weakness, it's a setup for their life's greatest triumph. So that's my story.
I'm going to bed. <laughs> but I hope all of my Eagle friends have a wonderful, wonderful weekend.